Hi. Hi. Please introduce yourself. Hi, Charbrex. So my name is Samuel Hallim. Um, I'm the CEO of Avantama, a Switzerland-based materials company for electronics. And uh, what's the latest uh, you've been doing the last three, two, three years? Yeah, so we've developed new materials, of course, and especially our perovskite quantum dots. And the perovskite quantum dots, they are the best-in-class quantum dots for display applications. Best-in-class? Like, best performance or pure? Yeah, so they can uh, create the purest colors, the highest efficiencies, the highest brightness, and also they can help the displays to consume less power. And so what are you showing here behind? Yeah, so here on the left-hand side, what you can see is two different uh, displays. Um, left is the computer monitor, and uh, they contain a mini LED backlight and a low cadmium QD film. We replaced the QD film with our QD film containing perovskite quantum dots and red KSF phosphor. And we set the monitors to the same brightness. And what you can see here, our monitor consumes 25% less energy. So the power consumption is 25% less compared to the original monitor. That means in terms of energy label, we move up from G to E. So this monitor can be sold in Europe. This one cannot be sold anymore in Europe. Well, this is uh, crucial with the new rules in the EU. Absolutely, this is absolutely crucial. And uh, what, what the companies do, they of course, they downgrade basically um, their monitors, but I, this shouldn't be the way to go. I think what, it, what they should do is replace the existing films with our films, and then they have best performance and lower power consumption. Is it more expensive to use a better film? It's on the long run, it's not more expensive for the first product. It might be a little bit more expensive, but I think you have to pay what, what basically you're getting. Yeah, uh, when people calculate price, it, they need to be thinking of the power consumption. It's the biggest, bis, biggest price, biggest cost sometimes. Sometimes it can be, it can be, but it's also, I think, um, important for the future that um, you have e electronics that consume less power than before. And TVs are so spread all over the world, I think it's a, it could have a big impact on the whole power consumption of the whole industry. Can you say a little bit more of how you reach a level to claim to have the best, best in the world? Yeah, so technology-wise, the perovskite quantum dots, they are the most narrow FWHM, so the purest colors, highest efficiency, and uh, we are just proving this now in the products. Nice. And we can, uh, we can check right here also? Yeah, right. So on here on the right hand side, we are showing next, gen next generation quantum dots, materials for the applications in QD OLED and QD micro LEDs. So here we are presenting basically three different um, application methods. On the left hand side is by inkjet printing for QD OLED, for example. And then, yes, and I can, and I can also show you under the microscope you, so you can take a picture of the screen. So basically here, this is for pretty big pixels. So the pixel width is 130 micrometers, pixel pitch is 200 micrometers. So suitable for QD OLED application. Deposited by inkjet printing. And here in the center, we have a different sample. This is based on photoresist. So our perovskite quantum dots are worked into photoresist for the application in micro LEDs. And on the right hand side, we have here the best resolution. So we can go down to my one micrometer pitch and uh, pixel size. And this material is deposited by electrohydrodynamic printing. It's a new method that hopefully in the future we'll be able to produce um, at high volumes. So you're talking about uh, printing right. in pixel perovskite QD and micro, micro LED. Right, right. Yeah, so I think micro LED is the next big thing for the display industry. I think we will see very soon smart watches uh, with micro LED displays, very bright, very colorful. And the next generation of micro LED displays, they will use quantum dots for better color, less energy consumption, and also uh, lower price. 
And when you talk about printing, I think ink, and it looks like you have a little ink. Uh, it should be a good match. Absolutely. To put it in the, you put it a little bit in the printer, and then how does it work? Well, I think our materials are really high, high-end materials, not for use at home. Um, but yes, theoretically, you could um, make um, inkjet inks with them for at home. But I think uh, we really focus on the commercial applications. But uh, the printing machine is going to have your component somehow in the process. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. So um, the printing machines, they will be used by the display makers and our inks are going to be used in, in, those, in the production of the displays. Nice. So how is this display week? How's it going? Yeah, it's excellent. Um, last year was the first year after the COVID pandemic and uh, I think it was still a little slow. This year we really, we really had a, a lot of traffic here at our booth. So yeah, really happy with the result out of the outcome. So here, the display week, there's a bunch of 8K displays, there's 4K 120, and all these new TVs can come with HDMI 2.1, and there's a whole bunch of updates that I'm going to be filming at the Computex 2023 with the HDMI licensing administrator, which are organizing all the display makers, the cable manufacturers, and making sure that they are compatible with each other, there's a stable performance, there's no interference, and um, there's a smooth AK future with 48 gigabit per second support and there's the whole um, infrastructure for for certifying for testing for making sure there's no interference with the with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and stuff that people have so thanks a lot for watching check out my HDMI playlist in hdmi.charbax.com